Welcome to part two of my Ableton Basic series. Today we're going to learn how to add a count in intro two, three, four to your Ableton Live session. Let's go. All right, welcome back to my Ableton Basic series. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to add a count in to what we did in our last one where we made song one, song two, and it looks like I forgot the name of this song three right here. Um, if this kind of thing interests you, please subscribe and hit the like button. That helps me out a whole lot. We're going to continue to dive in some Ableton basics that have been really helpful for me. So I will quickly show you how to add a count into this. So step one, I'm going to add a MIDI track, insert MIDI track, and then I'm going to go over here to my transport controls um, where I, and then I'm going to go to my favorites, and then I have an instrument already built called Vocal Cue. So this is a drum rack. I'll explain it to you in a second. I'm going to pull that in. So this is my drum rack. So all this is is a blank drum rack in Ableton, and a drum rack in Ableton simply just houses samples. You can just put samples in there. So when I hit this, one, it says one. It's pretty simple. And I've got Pre all these um, different cues mapped in here. You can either build your own cues, or they're pretty easy to find online for free. I believe I got these from multitracks.com for free. You got to scroll all the way to the bottom and find them. Um, I will link them below if I can go find them, and you pull them into a drum rack. So what I've done... Um, to the best of my ability here is, is to try to put these in some order that makes sense to me when I'm programming cues. So to, to build these out, to have a count in, it's really simple. Let's go to song one. I'm going to go to insert MIDI clip. And then um, right here, it tells me that this is only one measure long. I want this to be two measures long. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click right here, type two, hit enter. And now it's two measures long. That's great. And this is telling me that I've got 16th notes in this grid. I don't really want that. I want quarter notes. And then I can simply click this in like I would a piano roll. So I can go one. one. And then I'm going to put two, two on the next half, half um, beat three. Sorry. And then I'm going to go one, one two, two, three, three four. four. This is important. I'm going to make sure I turn the loop off. So I'm going to turn it off or it will count in forever. Name that count in. I'll show you why in a second. One, two. Oop, I messed up. Double click this. Oh, perfect. All right, so I made the length two bars. This is a good moment. And then, but I made the end measure two. It didn't change it. So I've got to push this back all the way so that the end is actually measure three. So now if we try it again. One, two. One, two, three. Four. We have a count in. You can make that longer, shorter, and here's what I like to do. I will rename this count in 4-4. Four, four. And that way, as long as the song is in 4-4, four, four, it's actually 8-8, eight, eight, but it's 4-4, four, four, um, I can just option drag it to the next one. If I make a count in 6-8 in or a different time signature, I'll do the same thing. And really, you can make two or three of these things and then just copy and paste them on down and have them for all the songs that you might need them for. Thanks for watching. Be sure to stick around for part three, uh, where we'll cover even more info on how to use Ableton Live. Thanks.